Now we are taking a question here to prove under root 11 is a irrational number. Now to prove that this is a irrational number, we will just take opposite that root 11 is a rational number. Now proof. We are going to prove. First we will take under root 11 is a rational number. Now when we are taking under root 11 as a rational number, under root 11 can be written as in form of p by q where q will not be equal to 0 first thing and p and q should not have any common factor have any common factor other than 1 common factor your other than 1 So here now I am what I am going to do I am going to do squaring both sides. Now my first step is that I am taking the square of both the sides. Now when I will take a square of both the sides I will get under root 11 square is 11. Now p we will have p square over q square. Now if I cross multiply I can write it as 11 q square is equal to p square. Here. Now you can see that 11 is multiplied with q square then I am getting p square. It means 11 is a factor of p square. So from here 11 is a factor of p square. If 11 is a factor of p square then 11 is a factor of p also. So here I can write 11 is a factor of p. Now this I am taking as 1. Now, if 11 is a factor of p, it means any number is multiplied with 11 and that is equal to p. So, I can write it as p equals to 11 into r, where r is any number which is multiplied with 11 and you are getting it equal to p. Now, I am squaring both the sides. Squaring both sides. So, if I am squaring both sides, what I will get? P square is equal to 11 square is 121 and R square. So, from here I can write P square equals to 121 into R square. Now, here in equation 1, in place of this, I am substituting this. So, I can write 11 Q square equals to 121 into R square. Now, I can divide 11 on the other side. So, I will get q square equals to 11 r square. Now this means that 11 is a factor of q square. So from here I can write 11 is a factor of q square. Now if 11 is a factor of q square, so 11 will be a factor of q also. So 11 will be a factor of q also. So if 11 is a factor of q, and here we have seen that 11 is a factor of P. Now, in the uh, definition, it is already uh, written that they will not have any common factor. And here we can see that 11 is a factor of P and 11 is a factor of Q. Now, this will contradict the definition of rational number. This contradicts. definition of rational number it means under root 11 is irrational this is how we will prove for any irrational number now I am taking a question here to prove minus 3 plus 2 root 5 is an irrational number. Now to prove this irrational number, first thing I need to prove that root 5 is a irrational number. Now you can do this like earlier video. Now here what I can do to prove, I will take here minus 3 plus 2 root 5. Again I will take the opposite thing that minus 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. 
now i can take it equal to r minus 3 plus 2 root 5 is equal to r where r is a rational number okay now what i am doing i am taking this minus 3 on other side so 2 root 5 equals to r plus 3 now if adding any rational number to a rational number r plus 3 will be also a rational number now i am dividing this 2 on other side so root 5 equals to r plus 3 by 2 we will get now we know that since r is a rational number since r is rational number so r plus 3 will be a rational number Now, if r plus 3 is a rational number, it implies that r plus 3 by 2 divided by 2 will be a rational number. Now, we know that root 5 is irrational and root 5 is equal to r plus 3 by 2. Now, this is an irrational number and here we have this rational number. Now, this will contradict. A irrational number cannot be equal to rational number. So, this contradicts So, I can write that minus 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. Okay. 